this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to register a domain using Amazon's AWS. A prerequisite to this video is that you already have your AWS account set up. So if you've not yet set up your AWS account, go ahead and do so and then come back to resume this video. So right now I'm logged into the dashboard of my Amazon Web Service console. You can get there by just clicking on this cube button in the top left hand corner. And this dashboard shows all the AWS services available to you. We just are going to scroll down to the networking and content delivery section and then click on Route 53. So Amazon's Route 53 is the space in AWS where you can register new domains, transfer existing domains, route traffic to and from your domains, etc. So here we are going to go to this last option, domain registration, and click get started now. And we are brought to this screen where we can register a new domain or transfer a domain. We are going to register a new domain. For transferring a domain, if you have a domain that already exists that you registered under a different registrar, so not Amazon, then you would go through with this transfer domain option. But in this video, we're going to demonstrate registering a new domain. So now we have the option to search for a domain name and see if it is available. So the first thing you want to do is pick your TLD or top level domain. So that's going to be your .com, .net, .org, .io, .info, etc. They all have different prices as you can see for them and they are charged on an annual basis. So you pay up front for one year and then when the next year comes along you can uh, renew your domain name with the same cost here. Okay, so I'm going to stick with .com for this demo and I'm just going to do example.com as the domain that I want to register. So then we click check to see if example.com is available. All right, so now the availability results have come back and we see that our domain name of example.com is not available. So it gives us some related domain suggestions that we could look through to see if any of these are something that we're interested in. At this point, we can choose any of these that it's recommending or we can go back and search for something else or change our top level domain to end with a different extension. But let's see, I'm just going to go with this first recommended domain suggestion here which is allexample.com. So now I'm just going to add to cart and we can see our cart now over here is coming to $12 for one year. We also have the option to register for more years with this drop down if we'd like as well. Alright so next page. Now it's asking for contact details from our domain. Here you're going to provide the contact information for yourself. If you're the registrant, administrative, and technical contact, you can say that uh, you are all three of these things so that you don't have to fill out three different contact forms. But if you are not all three of those contacts, then you're going to want to put in the contact information individually. So it's asking for what type of contact, whether we're a person, company, association, or public body. So we're going to choose person and this is what the fields look like. So it's asking for our first and last name, our email address, phone number, and street address. So we're going to leave this blank right now for demo purposes, but you'll want to fill that out accurately. You also have this option about privacy protection, whether or not you want it enabled. So privacy protection is going to differ based on each top level domain in terms of what privacy protection actually protects. So we see when the contact type is person, privacy protection hides some contact details for .com domains. So just by this we see that not all of our contact information is necessarily going to be protected with the .com domain, but like I said, this is going to differ per TLD. I'm going to show you in a moment how you can figure out more details on this, but in the meantime, the reason that you want privacy protection to be included is because anybody can run a simple who is command against any domain, and it's going to return back information about who owns that domain. Now, if you have privacy protection enabled, let's say that it hides all of your contact information, then that means all of this information that you're providing up here is not going to be seen by any party who does a who is command against your domain. Instead, it might see information about the registrar. In this case, it would be Amazon or their partner, Gandhi. It wouldn't be information tied back to you. So you do need to be familiar with privacy protection and what that entails. Now Amazon gives us this note here that says anyone can use a Whois query to see contact information for your domain. Choose whether you want to hide your information 
some information cannot be hidden. And then it gives us this link to learn more about privacy protection. If we click here, then I think this is a good idea to read to understand what the privacy protection actually entails. And not only that, but if you scroll down to domains that you can register with Amazon Route 53, you can look at all the top level domains that you can register with Amazon. So if we go to C and then we search for .com, we've got all of these different attributes for the top .com TLD. One of these attributes is privacy protection and it lets us know that with the .com TLD, all information is hidden. So that's not going to be the case necessarily for all top level domains. Some hide only some information, some hide no information. So you definitely want to check out depending on which TLD you're registering with. So going back to our registration, after you fill out this screen with your personal information and you go to the next screen, it's just going to be paying for the domain and uh, reviewing the details that you provided here. So I hope you found this video helpful. Hopefully now you can go and register your own domain with Amazon if you choose. If you liked the video and you found it helpful, please like, subscribe, suggest, and comment. And thanks for watching.